Hey everyone, welcome to an episode in the React Foundation series. In this episode, we're going to be asking the question of, are we really signed in? So you may be wondering why I'm asking that question. So let me, let's head over to the browser here. So once we're signed in, we're going to have the context of the user. So if you're familiar with the typical Rails uh, app, when you're signed in, you get the current user object in your server. Um, let's take a look at if we have that here, um, because we haven't actually implemented the code to use the token in the request yet. So therefore, my hypothesis is that, no, we don't have the current user object. Let's take a look. So I'm going to head over into the code of my server here, and I'm going to do a binding, uh, so a, a by bug to um, pause our server. And then we're going to see in the request if we hack, have access to the current user object. So I'm going to head back into the browser here and do a reload, and it should pause. Um, and over here, we are, we have, we're, we're now, we're, we're now uh, in debug mode. So what we can do is current user, and you see that it's nil. So in this episode right here, we need to do something in the client side in our API uh, uh, code to fix that. So I'm going to exit from here. Uh, so everything should be working again. So I'm going to head back here, remove by bug, and we're going to fix this issue here. So I'm going to head over into the code of our UI, of our front end. And basically what we need to do is very simple fix. So I'm going to head over into the API over here. And here we need to tell you know the headers here when it's constructing the header uh, to use a local storage token uh, in order to, you know, if, I mean, if it exists, then we need to send th those uh, token into the header so that the user is, uh, to the, so that the, the server is aware of which user is actually making the request and therefore giving us the current user context. All right, so what we need to do is modify this uh, function over here, this headers function. So I'm going to do const session equals, and we have the email and the token. And here we're going to do uh, local storage dot get item and email and local storage dot get item and token. All right, so now we have the session object and basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to um, check to see if we need to add this stuff to our header. So if the session, if these things exist, basically, then we need to set the header, so h.append. And then the, because in the server side, we're using the simple uh, token uh, gem. So basically, with that gem, it says that you need to set certain headers with, with certain names. So if you're using a different library, be sure to check which header uh, you know, that the server is observing on. So x email user email. Here we're going to pass in the email. And then h.append x user token. And then here we're going to pass in the session.token. Sorry, so this needs to be session.email. All right, so that's pretty much going to take care of uh, that problem for us. Uh, we don't really need to do much more. So yeah, uh, let's give this a whirl and see what happens. So now, uh, if we have the uh, token and the email, uh, the server is going to be aware of these headers, and then they're going to detect, and then they're going to load the user. Then we're going to have access to the current user on the server. So I'm going to head back into the browser here, I'm gonna, uh, and I'm going to go into the same thing in the server, uh, which is I'm going to run by bug. All right, do a reload real, real quick over here. Reload again. Uh, we're going to see that it's in debug mode, and let's do current user. And now we actually have the current user object by sending in the token and the email in the header. 
Uh, so as I mentioned, you know, we're using the simple auth uh, token uh, authentication gem uh, on the server side, and it looks for these tokens with these specific header names. So if you're implementing this yourself, you need to look into the header and you can call the header, uh, the name of the header, whatever you like. Uh, in this case, this is what we need to do. And it's working as you can see here. So what that means is now in our server side, we need to actually um, you know, use the contacts to load the contacts that only belong to that user. So basically, you know, now we're going to start to shift back into doing the server side implementation, uh, as I also mentioned in the previous episode, which is we need to uh, add a few more endpoints. Uh, so we're going to switch over to doing the, the Rails API uh, for the next couple of episodes. Uh, if you are not following along, do follow along because we're showing you guys how to build a fully fledged app using like a build like a Rails API endpoint and the React front end and have them connect together. That's where we're switching back and forth between two code bases. All right. If you like this video, like it, uh, share it with your friends and family. Also become a member to get access to all of our content, including all the uh, future episodes that are member exclusive content and our back library uh, as well. Uh, super, super useful content. Uh, with that, I'm going to wrap it up and I'll see you guys in the next episode.